Hi, everybody. Um, welcome to Wellness Warriors. I am here with my good friend, Marilyn, and she's from Hawaii. She is killing it, you guys, and she's such a rock star. She's my soul sister, and we do our Bible devotionals every day together. Um, but I just love her, and I can't wait for you guys to get to know her like I do. Um, Marilyn, can you just tell us a little bit about yourself and like your background, your how you got into this and whatnot? Absolutely. Thanks so much, Amanda, for having me. I'm super excited. So I was born and raised here in Hawaii on a little six acre farm. My parents, uh, actually my grandparents started it in the sixties and my parents took it over when I was small. So I've been working in this farm for since I was like five years old. And I'm going to say that it was a challenge, you know, working every single day, whenever there's sunlight. <laughs> However, now being an entrepreneur, I'm like, I totally get it. I'm so thankful for that experience. So it has been a building, building blocks, building re resilience to being an entrepreneur. And I'm so glad that we met. I love that we're soul sisters. Me too. And that's crazy. Like it, everything happens for a reason, right? Absolutely. Okay. Oh, excuse the giant semi driving by. Um, okay. So my first question is, tell us about your journey in network marketing and how you overcame challenges to achieve success. So I am going to say it is not for the faint of heart. It really teaches you resilience and what you're made of. And I have um, so many books and mentors and all these things that are I'm just pouring into me and just staying consistent. I've been doing a Facebook Live every day for almost four years now. And there's not very many people that can say that they're that consistent, you know, um, showing up and every day I'm learning and being able to share something that I've learned. And so when you just create a, we just finished reading The Compound Effect. When you create those habits that are non-negotiable every single day that you know you can't sleep until you do that, it's going to make such a huge difference. So I love network marketing. I feel like, you know, this is a great way for us to share our hearts and then also work smarter, not harder. And the more value that we bring to other people, then, you know, it's self-development with a paycheck, right? So the more that we work on ourselves, the more that we'll be able to pour into others and share with others and make more of an impact. Yes. And I love that you go live every single day because when you started, you did you were terrified to go live. Terrified. So that I think is incredible growth. And that is my favorite part about this business is the growth. Like you do things that you never expected that you would be, ew, I have a daughter capable of doing <laughs> and you don't have to be that professional obviously <laughs> but um my i just love it so okay next question how do you how do you manage your time and balance your work life while running a business so this is a good question because there's a lot of mom guilt that i had when i first started and i was like i need to be there for everyone However, as I'm learning, as I'm growing through self-development, you know, we need to take care of ourselves first. We cannot take care of anybody else. My tagline is always, if you don't feel your best, you can't serve your best. So when you take care of yourself first, when I take care of myself first, that is going to translate into how I'm best able to be a wife and a mother and a business owner. And I'm going to say in the beginning, when you start your business, know that it's not going to be balanced. It is like a baby. When you have a baby, you have to put that extra time, that extra care into making sure that baby is taken care of. And our business is the same way. I'm looking at different uh, business owners and different, um, even franchise owners, right? They are not taking a paycheck and they're pouring all of their commissions or their revenue back into the business so that they can help build and help scale. And it's okay. I tell people it's okay that is imbalanced. I'm giving myself a lot of grace because I still consider myself a newer entrepreneur and I want to be able to um, make sure that I'm 
building a solid foundation in this business. So right now I'm going to just be honest and say it's not that balanced. However, I have people that are reminding me, hey, you need to make sure that you take care of yourself first. So carving that me time in my in my week every single week is going to make a huge difference. Yeah, and that's, that's what my 5 a.m. devotionals are. That's my time, like alone, quiet. The dogs snuggle. They don't have not, they're not obnoxious. I love it. Um, okay, and then my last one, could you share the impact of having a mentor or a support system in your network marketing journey? How is it, how is it in this, this company compared to others? I think having accountability is so huge. We are more, we're going to keep accountable to other people when we have to check in with them than we will for ourselves. And I was actually listening to Darren Hardy this morning. He says, are you in integrity with yourself? And a lot of times we break our own words with just ourselves. So when we're able to have that accountability, that coach, that um, person that we check in with every single week, and I have multiple because I realize when I have multiple people that I check in with either every day or every week or every month, then I take those baby steps and those action steps because I don't want to show up and be like, oh, I didn't do anything, <laughs> right? So, so embarrassing. <laughs> yes. And so we have, you know, our executive team with our company. We have um, different accountability groups that we can um, join. And then I am in different coaching programs. I have at least four different coaching programs that I'm doing. And I, I find people in those programs that I can keep accountable, that we just check in with each other, like, hey, did you do this? Or mm -hmm. what did you think about this? And you know, we just met uh, with our um, attraction marketing team and just the brainstorming, the collaboration, that was so beautiful. You had great ideas. We're all able to flow. And um, when we work together, we have the accountability. It's so, so huge. So I, if you do not have an accountability partner, if you do not have a coach, I encourage you to get multiple because when you're checking in with all these people every week, every month, and sometimes even every day, even if it's just for a minute or two, that's going to help push that needle forward. And you're going to see things start to compound. I said that we always overestimate what we're going to do in a year, but we underestimate what we can do in two years, in five years, in 10 years. So if you keep on going, you're going to be surprised at the compound efforts that just come into fruition in your life. And it's so exciting. It is. And it's a lot, a lot, a lot of fun. And I love the people we get to meet. It's like we would have never met, never in a million years, like Wisconsin, Hawaii, <laughs> never would have happened. But I am so grateful to have met you because you are one of my favorite people on the whole planet. Um, so I thank you very much for coming on. Do you have any like last words before this storm? hits me. <laughs> well, I just love you so much, Amanda. Like from the first time we met back in Texas, I am just so thankful to have met you. I am going to also say to everyone listening, please, please give yourself some grace. We are hardest on ourselves. But when we, and we would never talk to other people the way that we talk to ourselves. So notice what you're noticing and if you're talking to yourself and you're like, oh, I would never say that to another human being, check that and start loving yourself more because we want to, um, you know, just a rising tide lifts all ships. So when we start with ourselves, we're able to pour that love and that abundance out to everyone that we meet. And it's a really, really beautiful thing. That's something that I'm very, very passionate about. Thank you. That was beautiful. Do you want to love her? It's amazing. <laughs> Thank you. Have a good day. Thank you. Aloha.